Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and a breakdown this Red Hot Chili Pepper song, Road Trippin'. Some really cool finger picking patterns. Uh, also, thanks for supporting my own project, Marty Music. You can check that first comment down there and uh, sign the newsletter for some free courses. I really appreciate that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna learn the main part of this song first. And you wanna practice it slow. You wanna get it down really good. And that way, the bridge section and the little embellishments, the change to the main riff become a lot easier. So we're gonna focus on that right now. It starts with this E minor chord, but we're gonna voice it with the index finger on the second fret of the D string, ring finger on the third fret of the high E. And now we're gonna do a right hand pattern for it. And it starts with the D string with the thumb. Then you're gonna pinch the low E and the high E. So the, the D, then the pinch. Like that. And you wanna do it really slow and just keep adding to it. Next we go back to the thumb on the D, but we're gonna go D, index on the B strings, D, B, D, like this. D, B, D. So, so far we have D, pinch, and then D, B, D. Put that together, D, pinch, D, B, D. That's kind of phrase one. Okay, now we pinch again. So when we go back, D, pinch, D, B, D, pinch. From that again. So after that second pinch, it's D, B, D again. So we're, you know, kind of um, breaking apart these little patterns, right? So that we're still on that E minor chord. D, pinch, D, B, D, pinch, D, B, D. So there's two more notes to the pattern, and it's the middle finger on the high E, back to the D. So the whole pattern would be D, pinch, D, B, D, pinch, D, B, D, E, D. Super slow. So those last four, you know, D, B, D, E, D. So instead, you know, it's just da, 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 and it's. Back from the top of that. So it's only, uh, you know, the last two notes of that pattern is high E to D with the thumb. Here it is again, one more time slow. But like I said, this is already the rhythmic phrase that we're gonna be doing for the other chords. So we're actually learning the other chords as well, or the other parts of the song because of the right hand pattern. Now that's a great pattern to just learn as a guitar player. 
So if you've made it this far already, you've got something that I think you should practice and it can help you. You know, you could do it with uh, any other chord too. All right, the next chord we're gonna play is a C major. And we're just playing it like this, third fret on the A, fifth fret on the B with the ring finger. And we're going to have to get an open G string in there, so just make sure that you're not barring it. It's just, you know, it's open like that. And this shape, so third on the A, fifth on the B, starts with just, just how we did with the E minor, it starts with the bass note by itself. With this one, we're going to hit the A string by itself first. Then pinch the A and B string. So watch when I go back to the first one. Okay, so I just added something and it's gonna be the A string and the open G string with the index and it's A, G, A. Just how we went da 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 in the other pattern. We're still using that same rhythmic phrase. A, G, A. So it's A by itself. And then the pinch of the A and the B. So. And then A, G, A. So. So from the top, okay, next, chord wise, it's very easy, you just take this shape and move it down a half step. So what we're getting is a, basically a B major chord, but we're going to use that same open G string in there, and when you have a B major with a, a natural G, that darkness there, that's called B augmented, uh, or a sharp five. Okay, so from the first pattern, it's the A, pinch, A, G, A, so when you move it down a half step, it starts with the pinch, so So on this one, it starts with the pinch, then does A, G, A. A, G, A. So single, pinch, A, G, A, pinch, A, G, A, B, A. So the last two notes, B with the middle finger and the A string. So from this chord, A, pinch, a, G, A, pinch, A, G, A, B, A. first chord.
right, one more breakdown of it. Then I'm going to talk about the embellishments that that change within that. But you're, if you get that down, which I recommend you do, then these next embellishments will become much easier. You know, memorizing that what we just did. So what do we got? We got D pinch. D B D right D pinch D B D pinch D B D E D A pinch A G A pinch A G A B A and just do it super, super slow, one little piece at a time. You know, start with that. Watch a TV, World Cup, whatever it is. Okay, got that. Okay. Other thing that you'll notice is that the thumbs always going down, 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 with the other things dancing at the same time and in between that. One, two, three, four. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, so one variation is the very last chord. You just pinch at the end. So you can vary that. Uh, like that. Starts with the pinch. Bo da ba pinch. Do da 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 pinch. So A. Uh, sorry, pinch, pinch. A G A pinch. So you can try that at the end, like that. But the other one is this one. So the, the pattern is really the same, but we're doing this cool embellishment. So it's all during the E thing and it goes, it starts the same. D, pinch, D, B, D, pinch, D, so. So D, pinch, D, B, D, pinch, D. And then from there, you're going to be pedaling back on that D string. And you grab that fifth fret of the high E. So back to D, then third fret, then back to D. So from the top of that pattern. Time. And I just did that where you pinch at the end of that pattern. So those are the two variations, but the really tasty one is this one. All right, now we're at uh, the next section of chords. There's going to be two more sections I want to show you. I want to go through all the chords first without spending a lot of time on the pattern. If you've already mastered the pattern of the main part of the song, you can really use it for the, this whole next section. So let's go through the chords. It's A minor, 
and you can pinch the A in high E string. Then it's G over B, which is third fret on the B, second fret on the A, you pinch those. The third chord is a C major chord, and I'm playing it like this. So third fret A string, fifth on the D, open G, fifth on the B. So you have A minor, G over B, C major, G major. And I'm barring the 10th fret, 12th fret's covering the D, G, and B. And so I got that. So the bridge is, uh, sorry. And that's not the exact finger pattern, but I'm using that same rhythm concept from before. Because there's a whole other set of chords I want to show you first, too. So A minor, G over B, C major, G major. Then it goes back to the main part of the song again. Right? Goes through that whole thing again. Then it goes back to this new set of chords, A minor, G over B, C, G. You know, it goes back to that section again. But then it goes to an interlude. You know, so it's a whole new set of chords. Once again, same rhythm concept, but there's a set of chords here that we got to go over. It's E minor 7, so you're barring the 7th fret, and then you have this A minor looking se uh, A minor 7 looking chord. So it's just like a full minor, but with the pinky off. So you have that. Then you have A7, which you're barring and playing an E7 looking shape. So it's like a full A major, but with the pinky off. So A7. Then a C bar chord. Then a D7, and you just slide it up like that. So it'd be barred on the fifth, ring on the seven of the D, pinky on the seven of the B like that. So check it out. E minor, and then there's a diminished chord we got to do. So E minor 7, A7, C major, D7. Then again, E minor 7 to A7, C major, and then we could call it D sharp diminished. And here's how you play it. It's not particularly difficult. Uh, let's see. So if you think of like kind of the shape of a D chord right here and then adding your pinky. So it's the fourth with your index on the D, fifth on the G with your ring, middle finger on the fourth of the B, and then pinky on the fifth of the high E. So once again, that other section, E minor 7. And so with that diminished chord, you can slide the whole chord up in groups of uh, what are called minor thirds which is basically just, you could look at one finger and go one, two, three, up. And again and again. It's always gonna be the same chord. All right, now back to the A minor section. Here's how, it, here's how the uh, pattern goes. It starts with a pinch on the open A and high E, and then D, B, A then high E, D, so, and then that G over B, pinch the A and B, and then D, G, A, B, D.
Then for the C major, I recommend you just use your, you know, improvise the pattern once you get to this part. But the next one would be pinching the A and B, and then same D, G, A, B, D. So. And then in that last one, you pinch the A and B, then G, D, so. Go pinch G, D, B, and then A. So pinch G, D, B, A, and then G, D. Now on the interlude, think the same pattern and just think the pinches for each of the chords. So for E minor seven, it's up here, you're pinching the seven on the A and the eight on the B. On the A7, you're pinching the E and G. On the C major, you're pinching the three and the five. And then you're pinching the A string and B string again on the D7. And when you go around that again, when you get to that diminished chord, you're pinching the D and high E string. You know, same kind of idea. Thanks again, you guys. Really appreciate your support. Thank you again for making sure it's Marty Music and uh, subscribing here, signing the newsletter at martymusic.com. All that stuff is so appreciated. And uh, hope to see you in another video real soon. See you later.